Hi everyone, what a glorious day. I would like you I would like to introduce you today to our family pet rabbit Jasper. He is four years old, he loves to leap around the garden, graze on the grass, and nibble on some dandelions and drinks plenty of water. Today I'm going to use the help of Christos and show you what time of the day he eats, plays and sleeps. Okay, so Jasper has his breakfast at eight o'clock in the morning. So you can show us eight o'clock. Thank you, Christos. I let him out of his hutch in the garden to play at 11 o'clock. So you can see the red hand, which is the hour hand, is on the 11. And the longer hand, which is the minute hand, is on the 12. He has his lunch at half past 12. Oopsie, I'm gonna let him go now. There we go. And a nap and plays again at three o'clock in the afternoon. So three o'clock in the afternoon. Long hand on 12 and small hand on three. And then he goes back in his hutch for his dinner at half past five. And then he sleeps at about seven o'clock. So half past five, there we go, and sleeps at seven o'clock. Lost the red hand, Christos, have we? Yeah, there we go. So red hand on seven and the longer hand on the twelve. And bye from Jasper, he's enjoying his lunch. So I'm going to use this clock that I made earlier. I used a plate to draw around it. And then after I wrote the numbers one all the way through to 12, okay? I used red card to cut out my shorter length arrow and black card for the longer arrow. Okay, so we're going to do a quick recap because I remember doing this in reception. The short hand, which is the red, on the clock is the hour hand and the longer hand which is the black one here shows us the minutes okay the minutes hand tells us how many minutes past the hour so if it's no minutes past the hour the long hand points to the 12 and that means it's o'clock so in this example here it is five hours and then the arrow to the o'clock, which means it's five o'clock. Okay? If I now move the long hand, which is the minute hand, all the way down to number six, it has actually travelled halfway round the circle, which means it's half past five. Now, the way that I remember it, it's like that, but also I think of half a pizza, half a cake. And that actually makes me think, right, okay, it's half past an hour now. So in this case, again, it's half past five. So you could actually try making a clock as well. And you can actually show us either by sending a picture or a video or for example, what time you wake up, what time you have your lunch or your dinner, or even go to sleep. So I, for instance, this morning woke up at, can you tell me what time it is there? Can you tell me what time it is? So the little hand, the hour is pointing at eight and the long hand, the minute hand is pointing to 12. Yes, that's right. I woke up at eight o'clock this morning. And I will actually have my lunch at, I'm going to move the red hand. You can try and tell me now, or tell your adult, what time Mrs. Jordan had her lunch. So, I had my lunch at, can you tell me? Half past 12, that's correct, okay? 
So over to you now, it's your turn. Have fun making your clocks or practicing o'clock and half past. <laughs>